Welcome back, we will be looking at syslog. NetXMS features a syslog server, but before we can do anything we need to verify that it's turned on. If you go into configuration and server configuration, you can open the filter in the top right corner and type syslog, which will show you all the syslog server configuration variables. Here just make sure that enable syslog daemon is set to 1. If you had it set to 0 and change it to 1, you need to restart the NetXMS server. So if your syslog server is enabled, there is actually two ways how you can see syslog messages in NetXMS. One is using monitor and syslog, which will show you incoming syslog messages in real time. As you can see, I just logged into one of our PPPoE access concentrators here. And you can see some ports are going up and down. So this is live as it's happening on the network. The second option is to actually open view and go into syslog window here, which will give you a full search and full history of all syslog events which your NetXMS server received. For example, I am going to filter for source and only select my PPPoE access concentrator. And then I can press run and I will see all messages that NetXMS ever received from this particular node. By default it's sorted by oldest messages first, so I will simply add ordering and reverse the time ordering here and run again. And you can see that now I get a bunch of syslog messages ordered from oldest to newest. I could also add another column here which says let's say time is after just one hour before now and run the search. I will only see syslog messages from the last hour. And like this I can actually filter and sort through any syslog messages which my server receives. This is very useful for debugging and for actually checking what happened in your network. You can also set up alerting based on actual syslog messages, which can be done in the syslog parser in configuration, which means that NetXMS can actually generate events and then alarms or emails or however you configure it, depending on what text the syslog message contains. This means you can actually set up an email to be sent when a certain number of incorrect logins are attempted into your devices. And this is actually something we will look at in advanced videos. Before we finish I want to mention that NetXMS actually recognizes syslog messages from all of your nodes and actually automatically assigns the source which you can see here. Since NetXMS, when discovering an object, actually discovers all the IP addresses attached to every single interface of the, of the object, NetXMS can actually automatically determine from which node the syslog messages are coming from and you don't need to configure any additional settings for NetXMS to know which node which syslog message is from. And this is it for basic syslog functionality within NetXMS.